Okay, another couch episode. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> say, man. Do, 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 do. Let's do. Welcome to another episode of the Stuck in the Middle podcast where you know it's up and it is stuck. Hey, week. And weekly. <laughs> but y'all know what it is. I can't do nothing without addressing you first. Listen, I haven't done this in a while, but we need 1,000 followers on all platforms. 1,000 followers on all platforms. It's a very simple way to get it done. First thing you want to do is when you hit the ad button, you want to double punch on YouTube. Hey, good job. Hey, it's a couch. It's a, yeah, all right. It's, it's locked in. When you do that, you'll get all the notifications for all of the different media. We do shorts, we do reels, we do all kind of stuff. New episodes, you'll get all of that. So make sure you subscribe and then double punch to get all the notifications. But you know I keep the fam with me. Um, sort of. Today is a different one, right? We got three of the four. It's Stucky AM. Yeah. Stucky AM. Fred and what, uh, Coach... What is it? Coach Hi, Hef. Fred. Coach Hef. Ref, ref. Uh, ref, Hef. Ref, Hef. Hef, Hef. I'll let you. He out. Um, uh, but I'm locked in. Uh, B. Will Cooks, we locked in. C. Still here, baby. <laughs> um, yeah. We don't. No, we ain't even doing it no more. It's uh, either gas or pass, baby. What's up? Yeah, gas or pass. What's up? Y'all lock in. I like it. Green or red? Gas yeah, or green or red. Yeah, all oh, is it, is it, is green or red pill. Is it mid? Right now, I, I got a lot of people saying gas. You know, people be fraud. Because they want to support you and stuff like that, but nah, the yeah. pineapple mango tough. Nah, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that's to you. The one. That's the I'm one. not even gonna. That's the top seller. That's the it's, one. It's, when them people taste it, it's so refreshing. It's yeah, just simple, you, refreshing. And I'm gonna knock you on your head for nine dollars. I get it; it's expensive, but who cares? Yeah, I feel like um, that's about what I, I pay at Smoothie I, King. I, I, see, that's what that's what I thought. Yeah, but my, you know, twelve. It ain't no twelve ounces. Smoothie cup, King it. tough though. What, what, I ain't hating on them. How many ounces? Look, how many ounces is a cup? Twelve. Okay. Lemonade tea, twenty four. Stop playing. Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. Made. We'll do it. Um, nine fresh. bucks. Is, nine bucks is fair. Yeah, I'm about to say. I, yeah. That's probably equivalent. I'll be. I'll be hitting Smoothie King right next to campus. Oh, depending on the event. Right, now, right, now, right. You, now you come on. Yeah, some events is thirty. Some events, like, yeah, I gotta hit you <laughs> for that. Hey, you know, some some stuff is high class. It's demure. So uh, <laughs> de, demura. So yeah, I don't even know how to say. What is it? Demure. Demure. It's 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 classy. It's expensive. It's demure. It's giving. I think demure rich. is like. Supposed to be using a connotation to women, bro. I they but everybody's like what? going hard with it. Though. Yeah, like it's supposed it to be like modest, but yeah. like in the like is modest. This a, is this classy. a dictionary word? Because yes. I could be very ignorant right now. No, it's, yes. So I'm extremely ignorant. What is the dick? Where's Jeremy at? I'm, I'm bro, we, we, we got Jeremy? we got it right here. Look, this is why Coach Hef needs to be here. We need a dictionary word of the week, man. All right, it means oh, reserved, <laughs> whoa, modest, whoa, whoa, whoa. and shy. Typically, typically used of a woman, so a man wouldn't say he's demure. Yeah, of clothing, uh, of clothing, clothing or modest, modest appearance. So, yeah. Hit Urban Dictionary though, real quick, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just like the way they break it down. Like, well, I, I always look at yeah, both. That, that's I'm Webster, sorry, but let's, let's well, go to my boy Frank. It's just the way they say it. Where would be on Urban? It's a, it's a, it's not a made why, up. First bro, of all, why is Urban not top? The Urban, because, hit us up, hit up social cues. For real, man. This, this is, is not acceptable. Your SEO is you trash. You should be just as top. No, Come on. no, they are typically top when it's a, it's a, a word that is not. A okay, word. here we go. Here we go. A young woman that will, is well spoken with m- manners and can be outwardly shy or reserved, innocent in thought, <laughs> and therefore attractive in a way that is unknown to her. Actually, so they so they literally just took the urban from, yeah <laughs> the dictionary. What the chat GPT? That's right. Urban this for me, please. That's right. That's right. And when okay. they say urban, they, oh, they, they probably did that way before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we out of there. They smart. Anyway, yeah. I'm Corey from Corey's Corner. My pup Perry and his favorite toy, um, which will not be here next episode. So R.I.P. to the toy. <laughs> Look, yeah. Oh, he oh, heard that. Yeah, he, he said, "Hey, that. bro, what you yeah, did?" He, he said, playing, "He wasn't hey, playing man. them games." Look, <laughs> it's so hard to say goodbye Ooh. to yesterday. Mm. Okay, did you hear a bomb? That's funny. No, I wasn't calling you over here. I'm saying, come here, buddy. Out of there. Come on back here. Well, you know me. I'm the official social cues. Follow us on everything. Today we got an interesting show, but I got to break down how it goes, okay? It's pretty simple. We do it in four segments. The first segment is you. We want to make sure that we understand what you guys got going out there. So we're going to talk about the mother stuck of the week first, but then we're going to move on to stucky situations. We got a good one today, right? I mean, I think so. I'm ready. I like to, like I told you, I like to just... 
See, like real quick, and then grab it and throw it on the page, and then I would like to read it when everybody else gets to read it. That's real. I like that. I mean, we're going to keep it. So just so y'all know, this this has kind of been the setup from the beginning. We wanted to have raw reactions to stuff because we don't want to rehearse no answers. Take your hand off of that damn cord. Oh, sorry. The mic stand work. The, the, so mm. listen, the technical part of me is messing up right now because I'm on this couch and I'm not. I'm not just comfortable. Typically, I'm sitting in a chair next to the couch, and I wouldn't yeah, have to yeah. touch anything. This just happens to be here, and it's like forcing me to play with it. Pause. <laughs> yeah, that was tough. No well, diddy. Move it out. By the way, the they said no diddy to diddy the other day in Washington Park. That was tough. Why was he at the park anyway? Yeah, that's tough. First of all, <laughs> bro, the way he is in every all these new videos of him, like the way he's just not interacting, he's just there and just like not speaking. It's just been really weird for me. But anyway. Um, we move on from the Stucky situation on to B. Woods so he can tell us what's so stuck and stupid in the world. And if it's stupid enough, we put it on the wheel, which most of them are. And then we get into some super vulnerable work, some shadow work with Corey at the very end. We talk about our emotions and our feelings. Ties us up in a pretty little bow since it's on our week. That's the show, guys. Hour, hour and a half, typically. But we got to start with the mother stuck of the week. I said Dallas Cowboys. I'm just. Joking. <laughs> hey, I'm my vote. My vote. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was gonna pull up Dag, and I was gonna look at the stats and everything. Oh, you finna go crazy? I'm about to go crazy on them. Yeah. Man, I, mean, you know, they... I don't. I would say there's been a lot. I feel like that took place this week. But if if Shannon didn't get out of his situation, facts. That's a good call. I would have called him the must stuck out the week. Yeah. But he, hey, he did a classic. Uh, 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 showing of how you can get unstuck in any situation. Hmm. Tell the truth. <laughs> That's right. it. On your own terms. He went on his platform. Yeah. He drove all the traffic there and he told the truth about what happened and you just move on. Like, what, right. you, what can you do? It is what it is. It's already happened. Um, yeah. So I don't know who would I nominate for my stuck of the week. I'll give you one. Um, Our presidential candidates right now in that debate. <laughs> but mainly... Oh boy, talk about <laughs> which one? Which one? Listen, he had a lot of lines. He had a lot of them. Oh, DT? Huh? Yeah, what he said. Did talking I say DT? That? No, 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 no. That's a tough one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about? You talking about? You said, uh, I'm saying, who you calling out for, mother sucker? DT or when I say 45 and they play games with you? Ooh. It's aim at you. <laughs> but when that boy said, uh, <laughs> "I'm on you, I'm blowing that you, that you oh, eat them pets." <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Yeah, come on, bro. That's tough. Yeah. That hey, when I heard that one, I said, hey, boy, hey, listen, I, I, a lot of stuff sometimes you got to let slide. This one I couldn't let go, boy. When he said they was eating pets. I ain't going to lie. And then doubled down, and then afterwards they found out that it was not even, it was like a rumor that started at like a high of school. Of course, it's always been And that. they just recently changed it to geese. You see that one? Yeah. No. Of course, they slid the geese. <laughs> they changed the geese from the First of all, can, can we talk about who's hosting geese as pets? Like, can we talk about that's that? Tough. Well, that's the well, they changed it. They changed it from the pets. You know what I'm saying? To it's oh, the geese to in the eat. public park. They go into the public park and, de- and be heading the geese. It's the dumbest. Just give us uh, the, the the surveillance. We'll, we'll be fine. And yeah. Here's the problem, bro. Like I can't here's work the on everything else. Because <laughs> I'm with you. I, I mean, I forgot that even happened this uh, past week. Yeah, <laughs> real talk. Uh, but here's the here's the issue, bro. That I just be having with people in general, and I I wanted to go on this little rant, but I was like, I'm just gonna save it. I feel like what I have seen, but I'm going to use it now. I feel like what I have seen in my life is crazy. People hit like 32 or maybe 30, and they just forget how to critically think, bro. I don't know what has happened. Like, especially now, if somebody says something to you, the first thing I'm doing, I am not believing nothing that nobody say. Mm -hmm. I have to go and verify information myself. That's not to say what you were saying was not true. You can sure. tell me that it is true. Sure. I need to go verify it because there has been nothing but lies for years now of everybody. Yep. You can't tell me to my face that, oh, yeah, there are this happening. Uh, even with the Venezuelan gangs in, uh, in Aurora, there's some lies about that, too. I got to go look for my damn self. Mm-hmm. So if you're saying, and here's the logic. People are like, well, I seen somebody on TikTok talking about it. Sure. Then you saw this other person say it's not true. So then who do we believe? That's right. The data. And uh, we have, you have to follow. Here's my tip to you. Just follow the evidence. The evidence will lead you to help you believe in what you need to believe in. That's yeah. all you need to do. Or my, my favorite thing is to, I, I say this all the time, ask one more question. 
Is that is the <laughs> internet one of the topics they fact checked him uh, on? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and immediately too, because right afterwards they asked Vance they have, about it. Yes. And Vance was backing stop. down. And then people were like, "Stop, stop, guys." They only fact check Donald Trump, and they never uh, fact check uh, Kamala. Okay, first off, they did. Mm-hmm. I think she got like three deans. Uh, but they, she did. But not not. I think what they were con- concerned about in that moment, if we're going to be honest, like the verbal, like the outward. Doing yeah. it in front of I, I didn't know no, no, she no, no. did or not. Right, right, right. right. I, but, I saw the whole thing. I no, just I, I, I I, afterwards, there's articles that show all the facts. Who cares really about fact checking sure. in the moment, per se, if it was equal? That part is what the people complaining about, is the fact that there was no but, equal. Okay, okay, hear me outwardly. out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. If you told 10, if me and you were talking in a conversation, mm-hmm. and you told 10 lies that literally everybody knew was a lie. Mm-hmm. And I told two, will it not look to the viewers as if it was unfair? No, I, I, but we're not talking about a presidential debate that is trying to not show uh, bias. So I would want to hear yeah. about your two lies. No, no, no. It's, it's, no, no. it's like but if somebody, I'm com- saying. Here's but it's like if somebody complains and say, hey, well, you, you said something to me, but not to them. No, so it's and, like and little you're, stuff like you're people right. are petty like that. Yeah, you're right. But I'm saying like in a presidential debate, I'd like to hear about your two lies. No, no, no. But. That's what I'm saying. It happened in the presidential debate as well for her. I'm just saying it happened more for him. Yeah. So they're saying, oh, they never, they never, this is what people do, they catastrophize. Mm-hmm. They never fact-checked her. They never rebuttal her. That is untrue. Yeah. Did they do it verbally? But, or yes. But, but my okay. thing is, in articles after the fact, there was more than the two rebuttals out loud that Kamala had. And there was more than the, and then the, 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 20 10. that maybe, maybe maybe the way it was magnified like the, the it's almost like it was like a sports center top 10 for him but then for her it was just like a but it no. seems that way <laughs> like, you know Kamala, what I mean? Kamala, sure. listen first off we not going her name's Kamala Kamala sorry <laughs> I keep saying that because I keep I ain't gonna lie, I've been saying Kamala, Kamala. So no, listen, it's Kamala. Kamala. It's Kamala. And here's and this is and she it came and addressed Kamala. She came and addressed herself too. And that was smart oh, too, bro. Very she came on a master class. I don't Very care what smart. nobody says. But if you go back and watch the debate, because she didn't even really have to talk much about what she was. Uh, that's literally what I was about to say. <laughs> which was, so I've watched a lot of things that are theorized about um because you know the new thing is that she had that that earring in her ear. You saw this? Which was dumb too, because she's wore them earrings plenty of times before and they're not even it's not even the same earring no, as what people not. think it is, but go yeah, ahead. It, it, yeah, I'm not I'm like I'm just telling you the the rabbit holes. Yeah, narr- down. narratives are gonna be. This is one of the biggest. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like everything he, gonna, gonna be. Gonna pay, yeah, everything gonna be. So narrative. my point is, at the end of the day, the point I was gonna make is, why can't we just give her props for preparing? Because that was, bro. She, she was. She was brilliant. Is a DA. 100%. Or was a DA? Or yeah. Uh, this, yeah, she was a DA, and she's the vice president already. Yeah, it was brilliant. You my, don't my, think she can? My my thing is, it, it was really nothing to do. You just had to go on stage and, exactly. and just play your part. No, that's, that's it. Really that's nothing to do. Like everybody but, but, just falls but, and just argues with him. That's it. That, that's what just I was going to say next. Is it was brilliant in the sense that she didn't take the bait. But that's she it. was setting bait in a mo- her punchlines. Every punchline hit. She was every punchline hit, bro. Yeah. It was every one of a master class of debating without having to give it, like actual facts. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 it was the not talking. It's this. Yeah. When she hits her that, body that, language, that was the really it. killing all of, all of it. All of the it. laughing, and then when she was talking, Cause, the cause, emotion cause, can, she was can we, giving. Can we like, sit here and say that oh. there was one moment in her entire debate where she spoke to an actual policy? She, yes. She did a couple yes. times. She did I, mention what she was going to do. here's the... Which one? Uh, no, I think Remember what it is, when she went on the crowd size? Yeah, right? 100%. She, the answer before she gave was perfect. Okay. She first started with, I'm the, uh, I'm the only one that even has... Uh, 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 yeah. I'm the only one who even has prosecuted international gangs, international right. corporations. Yeah. Da, 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 da. This is how we did it. That was her policy. Now I know that she knows that it, she could have got rebutted on that, and it would not have looked good. Period. So that was the time when she then said she, she went into the, with the crowd size. That's right. And Donald Trump ate that hoe up. Because immediately what that, if that's he what was, if he was re, re, that and I think to Brian's point, this was what we saw. Tr- like Trump came in just to be there. Like he was like, I, I like, there be, like yeah. Like, don't th- that's what I'm trying to get people to understand. Don't sleep like he got ate up like that. Nah, he really like, like, he yeah. Really, don't he played his part too. Yeah. Like he he always addresses the same stuff. It's nothing there. It's just you, we never seen somebody that could, he, could play her part. He made like, two play that big part. fumbles. I. I, again, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think people are reaching for the fumbles. No, yeah. no, no. They're, That's I, just me personally. They're very glaring. The two big fumbles are very glaring. All right. In that, in that same question, when he took the bait for the, uh, when he took the bait for, for the, the, the crowd sizes, 
there was a question that was a very important question that he did not answer. And he went. He so he backtracked with that. But he deflects the all the time. One, That's what he normally no, 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 does. No, 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 no. She did that too. I'll get you but that. He deflects second. all the time. Sure. Yeah. But there are also times when, it, we're, again, we're talking about reaching, for both parties, we're, we're trying to reach the moderate voters. Sure. Yeah. Right? Before, with, with Biden, it didn't matter because both sides were so polarizing that the moderate wasn't even in the race. The uh, second part. I'll, I'll get to, remind me to get back my, to that. But my question is this. Why, why rallies was, had nothing to do with anything either. No, but hold on. No, no, so he's just addressing said, what was just what was no, no, that's, that's why it. I said look it was a data, master though. class yeah, because that's what you I'm had a way to get him off the to get him but, off but, the deal. But let's so uh, so go. I'm going to credit PBD for this because I saw this on PBD. But actually, they pulled up so all, all of the big news channels and the big um, survey groups, right? The voters and all that. They had live. Um, they had live surveys happening during the debate with both people that knew what they were voting for in terms of Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw a couple of them. Right. If it was effective as we think it was to quote-unquote sway them, and I know there are some polls out there that say one side or the other, but during the live debate, actually those people in the middle still were following the Trump line. Like, even in those flubs, it, it those middle guys were still following the Trump line. There's a lot so, of polls though. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, just, no I'm just throwing that out there. That's but just these like, are, these, I'm not yeah. saying like we'll we'll I'm sure we'll clip this in. But these are these are not small names I'm talking about. These are big named survey groups no, and you know media groups that are running these live auctions at the same time that they're or uh, live surveys at the same time they're watching the debate. And these are the data that they're clicking in. Every time a, a certain question comes in and they answer the way they answer it, whatever happened in that moment, they're clicking into their decision and where it went, what they leaned more to. Was it for Harris? Was it for Trump? What you see is that line is kind of following Trump alongside as the other line is not getting closer. It just keeps going up throughout the debate. So is it swinging these people is the question yeah. I was asking. Yeah, finish I what you were going to Yeah, I, I, would, I think so. Okay. And for a couple of reasons, because... The, the other ones are pointing towards what Brian was talking about when he talks about for reaching for stuff. I'll get to that part. Yeah. The second part was talking about his plan. And when he leaked, he was like, I don't have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. That, that was I, got, I, got, I got the per. Yeah, I, 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 I have something for that, though. I have something for that. No, I got something for that. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, granted, is it bad to have concepts of a plan? <laughs> no. No. But <laughs> here's that's part of the reaching. This is part of the reaching. But here's where perspective matters, right? You were the president before, and you've been campaigning for a year now. He answered the question. No, no, no. He answered the question when right. he said, no, 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 no. I, he said, I'm not in office. It, it was genius. No. I'm not. Th but that's not genius when we're talking about. No, if you listen, want a real plan, you need real stats. No. Okay. He don't have them. You're telling me other candidates who have came up with the... We're not talking about no. a plan specifically that we know any candidate has came into an office before who hasn't been in office still had plans. Good point. All right. So for again, we're talking about these moderate people and most moderates, specifically the the range we're looking at are people who are like everyday people who are somewhat well educated. So the way the perspective is, damn, you was president for four years mm -hmm. and you've been campaigning at least for a year since you've been and the party on, lead. Or, or, could I, what was the question that they asked him again? Because I forgot. What was his plan on? Um, what was his plan on uh, getting people? He had like a concept of the plan for the border specifically about getting like local police involved. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. they kept asking him like, "Well, okay, well, what's the plan? How would you, how would you get that in? How would you do that?" And he said, "Well, I have a plan. I have a concept of a plan." Well, okay. Well, if you're running on again, this is your strongest was one of your strongest points, which is the border. You've been campaigning for at least a year. And you and we're a month and a half away from election, fam. And you and you only have a concept of a plan. Yeah, I, that's I, the part I, where I, I think people forget what a concept is. And real business is I have to have. It's like when you buy a business, you can't buy a business without having the financials. You you can't you can't do anything. You could just have concepts. You could have thoughts because but, if you want to, because people are petty, like. Yeah, I need real stats. How are you going to really yeah, do it? Like, it, it, what's your budget? Like, what's my, okay, what, I see, I see that. But when you started your business, did you have a business plan or a business concept? I had a concept. A, a, a concept. I had a concept 100%. first to have a plan. That's my point. My point is you had a concept, then you made a plan. 100%. Now, did you make the plan? Because most people would say when you're going into the bank 
and everything else. You have your plan ready when you're asking for money, right? But yeah, 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 100%. Okay, that's when we're talking about but the But how did I get the debate, concept is the question. I got the concept because, okay, I had a car dealership. Where I get my concept from? Because I worked at a car dealership. So he was president. I worked at a car dealership. I'm not there no more. So let me, or or I'm there. I'm trying to come up with a concept to have my business, and then because I'm learning from what I've done, so he can have concepts and not a real plan. Because hey, when I was there, this is what the budget looked like. This is was this was the state of America. But so you, I can actually I can't do nothing if I don't have no information. He does have the information. No, I, I believe that he does. Is but what I'm saying is on just if we're talking about layman's terms, I'm telling you, a, I'm telling you a real plan that's not real. It's not real because I have no budget. I have no money. I don't know what is set for. I, I just know what I did three to four years ago. And if they don't like me, then they're going to change their switch up stuff anyway. Apparently, I thought they got rid of it anyway. OK, yeah. but a concept is unfinished. But what I'm saying is if he gives you a plan, it's fake. It's no, a fake no, plan. No, it it's, it's not real because what, what, what information he would he have that was real to I gotta, give you a good plan? I got to I got to we'll use a sports analogy. For NFL Sunday. Sunday is game day. The rest of the week is not. So we got a game on Sunday. We playing the we playing the Ravens coming up. Okay. Tuesday, coach come in for as my offensive coordinator. Hey, what we got? Hey, my concept this week is from knowing a little bit what I know about the uh, Ravens. Well, I think we need to run the rock. The defense is really good on the back end, but we need to we need to do a little movement to be able to run the rock. That's my concept for this week. Coach says, all right, bet by Friday we need a game plan. Because we need to have everything installed. Because on Sunday, we are running with the plan that we have, with the information that we have. Having the concept as a start is unfinished. Having the plan, whether or not the plan is going to work, is still a finished, thought-out process. Yeah, I think both of y'all agree with each other because what Brian's saying is that's great, but the coach has... The, the the assistant coaches the players information he's he's he's, 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 he's in the has, building now, but Donald now, Trump now, has all of that now, I, I know now, but, but could it be a breach of information Brian, we don't we don't no, have some no, of the information to, to, I don't to know Brian's point, is it public I, information I think both of you are making actually I think what's happening here is, is there's two separate points being made not like a, a situation where you're trying to explain I think there's two separate points being made to your in that scenario the coach has access to all the assistant coaches a budget the president Everything. of the school or the president of the uh, company. Yes. He has asked all this thing. Now, if we switch that same thing, and then coach came out to um, the owner of the taco shop next door to the stadium and said, I need you to come up with a plan by Friday, he's going to say, I have a concept. No, right. <laughs> but, but that's the reason why. I mean, I've been having this business. Hold on. The, Con- the why- definition of concept, a plan of intention. Right. I, okay. So my in- a, a plan, my intention, I have a plan and with that plan, this is my intent, but I have to have some type of real data. That's all but I'm saying. I can't acting, get data unless no, I'm a president. But that's the the reason why your statement was asinine, and this whole thing is asinine. Mm-hmm. The, we're talking about somebody who is the presidential candidate for the party. They have their team who are embedded no, so, in, bro. All right, so, so They're not getting wrong so, information. So, they have their data, no, just I'm like these people who are polling. Yeah, they have all you. the information they need so, to be able to so make a plan going not, forward. Not only, is he, not only does he have real data... To, to come up with a real plan, he also deflects answers. So what I mean by reaching is, if, if we already know that he never answers questions anyway, it, you could ask him about this and he's going to bring up this. Why are we tripping on something that he deflected and he don't have real information? Right. I'm, I'm so talking, to me, that's just reaching. Again, no, no. I'm talking about the moderates. No, I, I'm just Who really care deal. about understanding and knowing what's going forward. Yeah, if you're trying to reach the them, people you who have are, to have a better answer. Right. 100%. 100%. The people who are already going to vote for Trump. Yeah. It, they know and they don't care. This is his mo. He's gonna deflect. He, he said put who, up a border. He said put up a border, and then he said, um, then he said we have to get. Uh, I love the uh, what do you say? I love the uh, border police or something like that. What do you say? I have to put up. He he mentioned something like he mentioned one thing. I I, I could be wrong, the but border I thought patrol. He, and he said he wanted to localize and deputize. Before he said, uh, uh, he, before he started saying like uh, I don't know, I guess concepts. He said something small. He said one little detail, and he was like, well, I don't know. It's just. It's just I have a concept. You know why though? Be too, and again, he's a so he's a delegator in the business world. That's why he's he's being there. So in his mind, you know, he's like, I mean, I'm going to delegate that plan to an expert. So I really don't know if I have a plan. And again, even if we're defending that point to Corey's point, bro, listen, these are people that don't Facts. understand Facts. who you are as a candidate. Facts. This is their first time that they probably. And again, shame on them, by the way. I'm not giving them. Uh, any leeway like all this internet we have and it's your first time seeing these people 
<laughs> it's crazy. He but, dropped the ball, bro. Know, that's just I, yeah, all it is. That, he dropped the ball. Say, he, on that's more, why I, important stuff he dropped but, the ball. But the most important thing was the, the pet thing. I thought that was just that's what made him uh, stuck out of the week for me. Is that uh, oh, that yeah, line yeah. right there was like, bro, listen, you're tripping. And for me, <laughs> like, like we I know he gonna say he always say crazy stuff. Yeah, but that, that so one, that should that be funny was, to me. I like I, I, I know it was hilarious. But in my mind, I'm like, bro, do you understand you're feeding the... And I know what you're doing because you're smart because you're trying to get the... You're trying to stay in the loop. So anything you say is going to put you back I, in that I, loop. I just... It's like when, when they say the plan, remember, his whole spill was saying, I'm going to make sure they don't come here. I'm going to lock up the board. I'm going right. to get the police. That was the answer for that. But... Because he didn't break it down in a way like, hey, I'm going to spend a budget Which of no X, Y, and Z. Does, by the way. Hey, I'm no, going to do mean, that. I'm like, but you're asking Trump to do that. Yeah. That dude ain't, he. every question he's been doing for the last eight years has been, you know. Right. It's but crazy. I, but that's it's what just I think, we expect that's it in why that I moment. think people are tired of that, though. That, that's, right? what, that's what it's I'm trying to do. It's because when you're a new that's candidate, when you're a new candidate, you get the benefit of the doubt of saying, 100%. I don't know these things that I can have. Like, for instance, when I get in there, we're going to close that border. Mm-hmm. And, and Philadelphia, you're going to drill, baby, drill. 100%. Whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. Or in Pennsylvania, we're going to drill, baby, drill. When you're new, people will give you, just like Barack Obama, people will give you the benefit of the doubt because you're running off of change and hope. We don't know. We haven't seen what you've done, so maybe you will. When you have been in office before... Yeah, that, that movie don't play the same. It doesn't play the same. Mm-hmm. It's just rhetoric. I don't want the rhetoric no more. You've been in office. You know how it goes. Give me some of the intricate, yeah, but that, especially if you're going back in. that same in. breath, this is why I started off saying the presidential candidates as... Uh, because uh, I don't know of many politicians that break down their policy line for line like that. Uh, that and yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, other, that's, listen, Harris she, did Now, not she did a couple times. No. She broke... No, yes, she did. She did break down money-wise. After this, I'll give you four clips, bro. I, I'm not At saying, least four I'm clips. Not saying no, that I she did I know she did for... No, fact, no I'm she not saying that she didn't. I'm not saying she didn't. I'm saying that, like... So you know exactly where the budget's coming from. You know exactly who's going to be making those those push plays. No, they're going to tell you. Like, nobody's I, asking my, for that. They're just asking for the basis, like she said. Nobody's twenty five thousand yeah. for this, fifty thousand for this. She was just giving basic information. Yeah, That's all he had to do, and he didn't yeah. do it. We don't know that, what he's going. That part is where he the dropped part. the ball. And, and all again, he had to do was give one number. Hey, That's we're going to do two million to the. the week. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, bro. And, like, I know we he, have to move on. I know we have to move on. No, no, yeah, but that's the that's the part is that you're right. If he if he gives people aren't asking for nobody knows the in the real no, end. He, said, no it. he said it best. Yeah. People are tired, bro. Yeah, they, they like just, all you had to do is give us one number. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. That's it. You could have won and, everything. And on top of that, these are people that don't know what they're doing yet. And again, I feel strongly about this. Shame on you for being the first time you've seen somebody at a debate, my guy. And this is the gonna this is gonna be the decision to make Crazy. you vote. That's wild to me. Too. I don't mean that for moderates who have been in the middle this whole time watching this thing. Those people, those are fine. If you've been watching this whole thing from the, you know, from your seat, uh, play out for the last year and a half, and you're just still in the middle. That's. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about those people that are moderates because they don't know anything, and this is the first time they're seeing these two candidates. Shame on you. Hey, but that that don't don't like you said before the the stuff. I think what happens is we just see the powers social media switch. Like if she has a good moment, then everything goes yep. to that side. But don't forget that last line. What has she done? That, that's another that, hat. And this is this is <laughs> where they that, need to. I told. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> they we'll, and then we'll move on. What, to, what uh, has she done is tough. Got to go harder in that what she, Because on if you go to her website and stuff, but people aren't doing this work unless you're like you really a, a modern trying to figure out who's doing what, mm-hmm. or you're a fan of said person. Mm-hmm. This is where I think. Right now is where she needs to turn the the thing over. Show me the word. To show everybody you. what you have been doing. I've been saying that. And show me the not, word. But this is Democrats problem. Democrats always been bad at this. I just said that. Dems got to do better. Media. I just said that. Democrats always they been bad at that, bro. Republicans will let you know Every anything that's, that's great. K Street. Oh. Republicans are great at this, bro. If it's great and it came from us, we're going to let you know it came from us. Him, and if we, it's bad, it was the Dems. And the behind the scenes are crazy. <laughs> they are fantastic at doing that. So far, all we know about the Dems is if it's bad, it's the Republicans. Okay, <laughs> That's but it, What bro. about when it's good? The I don't social know. media but when is bad, crazy. It's Republicans. Man, show no, me the work. You gotta, I'm sick of it. And the thing is, they've been putting in work. Biden's administration put in work. Show it, bro. And that's so, it. so this is the point that Brian that actually and is you is a made good point. both. That actually is no, a good point. But both sides were tired. Dems, 30-something years. How long has it been, Dems? 30-something years? You want to talk about a broken record? 
thirty something years. Y'all just do quiet work, bro. Like, no, you're right saying. though. No, Yo, no, he's right. Point, I never but thought of that. But that's a broken record. Yes. Stop showing me. Don't. No, she needs to go on a thirty. Don't th- make me go find the work, bro. I'm telling so you, I paid. Listen, street. no, this is this is. I'm gonna get real real quick. I paid you to show me the work. What and other and, and I'm being real right now, bro. You're these Republicans, these Democrats, these are our employees. What are we talking about for a second? No. Let's be real. And, and no other place in life can you go into a work environment and not show your work. I show my work daily. At it's work. expected from everybody, your and colleagues, everywhere. and your uh, and your everywhere constituents yes. included. Everywhere in life in the Americas, you show your work every day. It's not like a, you don't have a discussion about whether or not you can tell your boss what you're doing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Why is it that I have to go to your freaking website, to Corey's point, to pull up the, the, the thing to show me all the work? Stop it. Every time I see you on camera, it, it, stop talking about the Republican. Tell me what you did today. Bro, in the, in the <laughs> White House, so Trump bro, killing bro, this man, I, I forgot his name. He's a, um, he's a political analyst on TikTok. There's a very good job of uh, giving intricate breakdowns of political things and yeah. in, a, in a very unbiased way. And he was like, if I was on Harris's campaign, this is what I would do. I would get a, a huge whiteboard and just set it in the White House lawn. Come on, man. And I would put a checklist of things that I have promised or things that we have done. Come and on. every time... It gets done, I would go out there and I would Check live stream the camera. And every time it gets done, I would erase it from one side and move it to the next side. And and it had to be even, Kamala doing e- it. Even yes. like, get up there, even, go up there, Kamala, gotta, every day and go move that. And go but move you, that but, thing but that's, over. The killing the two birds one songs, like he said though. If if you're gonna do twenty five thousand at X, Y, and Z, they just forget the whiteboard. Show that on camera. You going down to where it needs to go, right? And oh then put God. the thing. Right. Just right. put the thing right there on the video, bro. Just get it done. That's it. And then like, you get people out of the mindset of the because mindset, people are already it. in the mindset that Republicans do work no, and they're going to show their work. That's right. And so once you start showing the work, you get out of the mindset of Democrats 100%. don't do nothing. Because here's the other part. So let's say, because the argument initially was uh, Republicans going to say if it's bad, it's the, it's the Dems, right? Okay. So let's say you're showing your work. This is, this is what I mean about this is the craziness for me. This is when you have to start really peeling the onion back a little bit. Wouldn't you, if you were accused of doing something that you didn't do, wouldn't you want to show up to show that you didn't do that thing? 100%. Yeah. So if the Republican is saying, hey, no, it's the Dems, the first thing I'm doing, the very next moment is sending boom, 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 paperwork, boom, hot boom. receipts, hot, hot. What you mean it's the Dems? I got it. I got it. I got it. This is just basic. I, that's So 30 something years of having to beg for that is cr- that you want to talk about tired? That's tiring, bro. I don't want to have to go <laughs> defend tough. myself. I put you in that seat because of things you said you was going to do. I voted you into that seat because you said you are going to do X, Y, and Z. I want to see you do it. Just do hey, it, bro. Hey, hey, you, can bro. you show it to me? This is why we need Coach Hef because he would have probably stopped us a long time ago. Yeah, he did. He would have yeah, said that. Lie, America, America, lie, America right hey, now is in a stucky situation. Wait, yeah, he would have killed us, bro. Yeah, we went crazy on oh, that. But sometimes, you know, it is what it is. It, it stuff be flowing, you know? Yeah, it yeah, be flowing. <clears throat> All right, let me read this, man. This just came anonymous. We'll and, uh, right I haven't back. read it, so. <laughs> you said what? I said, we'll probably get right back. Yeah. yeah, yeah let's see. I've had identity. <laughs> I've had identity issues based on my race and ethnicity. My mom is Hispanic and my dad is black. I was raised in a predominantly white town, raised in Hispanic culture, and went to HBCU. What are your thoughts on raising biracial children? Any thoughts on how to handle identity issues? Aha! Ha! Interject all of us. How did Ratchet do it? Ha! Ha! Bro, that episode I saw yesterday of that, uh, <laughs> remember when he was like, just started making money, Braxton started making money, acting like he was a player one, one, oh, one yeah. So. Yeah, he was dancing. He was like, "Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's legend, bro." Ah, this is a good one because yeah. I, I think I could talk about this one. I think B. Wood could talk about this. Yeah, one. it's tough. I love it. Yeah. Oh, um, I forgot what you said. My mom is Hispanic. My dad is black. I was raised in a white town. Okay, predominant day. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, like I mean, what, what, the crazy it's part is that she went. <laughs> like, I don't. She know. was raised in Hispanic culture, which we know now because I'm married into Hispanic culture. And then went to an HBCU. That's pretty cool. So for me, yeah. for identity issues, the only way for me to beat that for me, this is personally me, just um, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. like, no, seriously, no. like, just yeah. when it's that's for me. For you to say that there's an identity issue, that means for me, you are uh, caring what people think because that you you think that somebody thinks 
X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, what if that thing is not real? So that identity issue, like what identity? They're just mixed kids. They, they're kids. <laughs> like nobody cares, especially with kids. Now, again, when even adults, who cares? Like I don't, for me, I don't, I really don't care about what people think, man. I really don't. Yeah. yeah. I just, it's just too much I, time. I think <clears throat> there's more than what she, this person, I don't know if it's a woman or a man, but this person is trying to get across is that, um, look, we got to be honest, you know. Raised in a white town in Hispanic culture with a black dad. Those are called oppositions. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, like, if you're in a black household, we know what it's like to bring home somebody who's not black. No. If you're in a Hispanic household, you know, you know that's even crazy. And don't get me started on a white household <laughs> if you bring in something not white. So they're in immediate opposition of each other in terms of building family together, right? Yeah. And it, that's just how America has been for a very long time. It's hatred. It's sick. It's, we talk about it in agnosia, and I'm black. I get it. So I think what we're talking about here is not being accepted in, in the in the three areas of the, the this person's life that they grew up in. It's a weird feeling. Mm -hmm. It's like growing up but not being accepted in the places you grew up. That's crazy. So I actually am terrified of this for my kids. I have a, a Mexican wife, and my kids obviously are biracial. And I see my son making choices to have friends of all races, which has been fantastic to watch. But I also know what this person is going through is what my son's going to go through which is one day he's going to figure out, like, do I have a home? I want to make sure he feels like he has a home at home, yes, but he means culturally, where is his home? Because he may go to, and this even happens within, like, subsets of your culture either way, meaning, yep. like, I, when I went to Grambling, bro, it was the greatest culture shock of my life, mm -hmm. and it was because I was around so much, so many more black people than i ever been around mm -hmm. in one space, and so... Me, as a person who liked anime, video games, I was bumping Lady Gaga, Fame Monster. Even though I listened to all the other stuff, I grew up in a very, very black black ho uh, household. Mm -hmm. That then started for me because everybody else was like, like, he a little wild, right? Like, he ain't really like black, black kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. So you can imagine for anybody, even your kids, they might feel like, dang, like, I know I feel Hispanic because I am Hispanic. Mm -hmm. I also feel black because I am black, whatever those things may be. I also grew up around a bunch of white folks as well. So I gain so, culture for So them I gain too. culture for them. And it's like I feel comfortable around them, but I also feel very uncomfortable because I know that they feel uncomfortable around me because they don't know where to put me. That's, That's right. the problem. That's the power. Well, we need to talk about how to fix it. So let's talk let, let's tell you first. Uh I literally grew up like this. Okay. I grew up black in a predominantly surrounding white neighborhood, right? And all my friends were either black, Hispanic, or Asian, all the different mixes, right? But mainly, I didn't have many friends that were in my core group around us because it was a predominantly white neighborhood. So culturally, we were just not accepted in a lot of households back then. As kids, we didn't notice it. Right, because we played in, all the time amongst ourselves, yeah. and the kids from the neighborhood would come and eventually join our circle. So we didn't notice it, but notice how we couldn't go to everybody's house. Oh, 100%. You see what I'm saying? So, in other words, we grew up in this thing that you're ex you're experiencing. So what I can tell you in terms of how to get you unstuck, and it seems like you might be a little young, too. The older yeah, so you get... Went, I said went to HBCU. So, so maybe be, they had to graduate. Maybe like 24, yeah, 25. Yeah, maybe like 25, 25 yeah, 26. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Still Meaning young. they got some growing to do. So here's what I can tell you. The older you get, you'll learn that you have a home at each one of those spots. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to choose. You don't have to choose. That's why when, you, when I said that you were raised in Hispanic culture and went to HBCU, what were my terms? I said, I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't judge you. I immediately thought, that's cool. You can learn. You can go to be in Hispanic culture, which is very, very thick. Yeah. And then go to HBCU, which is extremely thick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bro, that's cool. And you graduated but, but, from there? But I, <laughs> the reason why I say the don't care is because that was our life. That's yeah. right. We were raised in DWG. That's right. And the reason why we were ex exposed to culture is because of our schools. That's right. HBCU. So at the end of the day, I don't, it, it's just you. It's inside of you. It's that's who right. you are. That's right. Like, I don't, I, I don't care about no identity. Like, yeah. it's 2024 with time stuff has to, like, with time, stuff changes or mm -hmm. it gets better. So it, yeah. you just, for me, it's it's like, man, be blessed that we're in 2024 and we're trying to make it to 2025. Mm -hmm. And we, people paved the way for us not to, 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 to worry about identity issues as much. Yeah. I'm not saying that you're not, but I was actually raised in a, in a, in a 
90210 town. Yeah. And I it really didn't feel like it. We were friends with the that's next door I, neighbors. That's what like I said, we yeah. were hooping with people. I, yeah. We didn't care. Yeah. My my aunt was friends with the next door neighbor. Every neighbor, maybe that was her because she was raised in a small town. So maybe it's your parents or how you were raised, but I, I just don't feel like with with today, I think people paved the way for us to not really care no more. Yeah, and yeah. you do have a home. You do have a home. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's yeah. in yeah. All, all of those spots. places. It's in every single it's, one. It's, it's in the it, black yeah, space, think the it's Hispanic in space, yeah. the white yeah. space. You do have a home. The hundred percent. The fix is, and to Brian's point, the fix is you got to start realizing who is there for you, and oh, yeah, then, that, and then stick point. with those people. Like, there's yeah. gonna be people who, and I know this to this day. I have a very diverse friend group as well. Sometimes there are, are nights when I'm out and all, all the friends that I have are white. <laughs> and then there are the right? it's it's the other day. Hey, my yeah. boy was in that boat. The next day, you might see me with all of my black <laughs> Straight friends. Up. Straight up. Yes. Who are very much so, if you would think like typical hood niggas or whatever. Yeah, that's like, what I'm about they, to say. Because I yeah. know in my spots, they can accept me for who I am and I've accepted them for who they are. That's right. I don't give a damn. And then there are people, I know this because they have either told me to my face because they're bold enough or people who talk behind my back. That I know that there are people who feel like, oh, I can't really mess with him. He's he not really like a brother, brother. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I don't give a damn about them. <laughs> they're not going to enhance your life. They're not going to enhance my life. No. Let them have their people. They can't deal with the fact that they don't have the opportunity or the wherewithal, the gumption to be able to mix with different people. And that's them. And I'm not saying that's any less of them. I'm just saying that's who they are. Let them have that. There are plenty of people out there who will accept you in each one of these spaces for who you are. Yeah. That's your circle. Hold on. It starts with behaviors. I got to address this because this is something personally happened. I won't, I won't say names. But to help you, it starts with behaviors. We have to stop thinking that there's a separation. Yes. Okay. It's, it's a conglomerate. There's like, no separation yeah, yeah. here. We're yeah. just people. At yeah. the end of the day. So I'll give you a hint of how not to do things to, to help you with this problem with your quote unquote identity. If you have a biracial situation, you got a black person and a Hispanic person and somehow they're intertwining in, in some form of a relationship. Addressing their culture to make you comfortable is a no, no. We got to stop doing yeah. this. Like, don't come up to the Hispanic person and always ask them, how do you say this in Spanish? That's wild. That, yeah. Or how That's do you, say how do you, um, <laughs> listen, I was talking to someone the other day and they were speaking Spanish and Lord, I just wish I had you around. That's crazy. That's, you know, these what, are called microaggressions. What, yeah, what, what, microaggressions. What, what about the, even the small things like the uh, tonalities, bro? When you go, I, that's the number one thing I hate. I hate when people go up to somebody or strongly dislike, because you know some of y'all don't like that. But when you go up to somebody and then you, Oh, so man, him, huh? Yeah, yeah, like, bro, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, the you're most... Doing the, again, the equivalent, the equivalent it's your to behaviors, bro. Listen, the equivalent to our side is when people come up to, like, when people... Listen, I'm going to tell, tell you something. For, yeah, for, for all those non-blacks yeah. out there that try this, you got to stop it. We know what you're doing. We're choosing not to air you out in front of people. Trust me. When you walk up to one of us and you say, what's up, my brother? And yes, you throw what's a high up, five. What's good, bro? There's, or what's good, bro? Or what's happening, cuz? Or any of that. Bro, listen, inside, we're boiling. <laughs> we're bro, boiling. Just, just be yourself, dude. Yeah. Just whatever yeah, it is. That's it, fam. Whatever it is, just bring it to me. Yeah. If you're weird and you're like, blah, 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 just do that. And I'll be like, well, this, this guy's <laughs> a weird dude. But don't, you don't have to try to, don't try to accommodate into my culture, which you don't even have an understanding of. So I'm just giving y'all help, man. These microaggressions are crazy, man. Yeah, like, they're wild. Don't do it. It's not and helpful. And it be people that you know, it, it be close to you, be like, bro, what are you doing? Would you want somebody walking up to you being like, hey, I had some fried chicken yeah. the other day. And, the, and, <laughs> and 90% of the time, it is well-intentioned, right? Like Doesn't people matter. are like, oh man, I want to make sure this person feels comfortable. Doesn't matter. But that means you're, uh, you're assuming that they're already uncomfortable. That's your problem. That's exactly. not mine. Don't exactly. call me like so that. So just be <laughs> yourself. How you would address anybody is how you should address them. Why would you come talk to me about Spanish? <laughs> what if I? What if this person is Hispanic and doesn't even speak Spanish? That Facts. happens. That's, yeah, that, 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 yeah, that, that's, that's the biggest ill right come there. Or you went up to somebody who like, you know, uh, like I... Call it whatever you want to call it, but I'm I speak slang all the time. Yeah, like if you catch me on the game or anything else, if you do not speak how we speak, mm-hmm. you probably won't be able to catch up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't don't come in the space trying to do that when that's not who you are. What you Just do? Be who you yeah. gonna be? You know what I'm saying? Golly, that be driving me nuts. Just be who you gonna yeah, be. Don't be SNS. And then um, what's SNS? I think it's stuck and stupid. 
It's a, a segment, segment where, where a person plays a thing, finds himself in a stuck, stuck in a stupid situation, situation, and then and we put him on a wheel. wheel. Put him on a wheel. Corey, spin that wheel. Spin that thing. Hey, audio. I bet you it's going straight to uh, the mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, because we'll be right back on it. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, you put third on there, but it's definitely fifth. Yeah, bro. Okay, I thought it was fourth. I, I knew I messed up when I said that. I was like, "Dang, maybe he'll fix it." Uh, you do it. Corner's right, corner, yeah, in the building. Corner's corner, man. Is it stuck and stupid for Tua, the Miami Dolphins, uh, talking about Lord, the Miami Dolphins quarterback, to keep playing football after his fifth concussion? I yes. would say stuck yes. Yeah, stuck yes. Yeah. I think we all agree no, 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 no. to keep playing. Oh yeah, stuck yes. It would be stupid. Yeah, stuck yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah, you, I saw. This is not funny, but. You know how they all, it's not funny, but Somebody it is. Somebody take his helmet off? You saw no, that? no, no, no. First of all, this is one of the greatest <laughs> meme, uh, memes of all time is the the the, the remix to the uh, Interstellar scene. Yes. You no, see the, no, <laughs> it no, said no. two are running for the first down. He was like, no, no, no. <laughs> but because the internet Listen, is man. ruthless. Yeah, but also, two, bro, slide Why did you with slide? your feet. True, man. but also, he has been, uh, this, one of his worst concussions was oh, just one where he... The yeah, whiplash. so it's just you shouldn't be running. Yeah. This is why you should be off the field. If anybody who knows anything about uh, uh, concussion, do me a favor, bro. Google concussion. No, I want Google you to. It? No, no, just <laughs> the actual definition of concussion, because concussion is the shortened term of what it's actually called. A brain injury caused by a blow to the head, okay. or a violent shaking of the head and body. The, he's like, read the oh scientific it's, word. It, yeah, what's oh. the scientific word for concussion? If you got to go to Wiki or something else, dude. You know, my, uh, this is a droid. Yeah, they, well, yeah. that and it's not hired for it. You know, he'd be on the run. Right yeah. Uh, a mild traumatic brain injury. Thank you. Stop there. Okay, but That's what a concussion is. Mm-hmm. We call it concussion. You think it's something else. It's a mild traumatic brain injury. Sometimes mm-hmm. severe. Mm-hmm. Once you have one, you You're become done. susceptible to get more mm-hmm. easily. Which is why typically if you see somebody who has two concussions, the, they'll get a third and fourth and fifth one very easily. Because we saw that tackle, and most people are like, that's not even like a hard tackle. Because it's not. Doesn't matter. But you're talking about somebody who has been severely concussed and had severe brain injuries before multiple times. And I would venture out to say the NFL, we, we start counting at the NFL, but he might have even had some way before. Oh, yeah. And they just say he got his bell rung or whatever. Tua, my guy. I hate to say this for anybody, honestly. But as I've grown in life, I want people to have a long, healthy life. And you have kids now. You have a family, beautiful family. Football's done, Doc. But hold on, let's let's stop. He's getting 124 to walk away. It's a, it's guaranteed. So 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 he he gets the money guaranteed. 124 to walk away. Yeah, just go. That's go why home. this is the go stuff. home. Yes. This is just go. Hang it up. Become an advisor. Stay around the game. Just stay around the game. I wouldn't do that. One twenty five. No, no, no. Stay no, around the game. Stay around because the game. That's if you the love thing. the game, he has a stay. love for it. That's yeah, why he yeah, wants yeah, to come back. Love, you I get it. Stay I get around it. it. Do it. all that stuff, yeah. bro. Become a quarterback's coach. Whatever you got to be, bro. Work but you prioritize yourself. Let's keep it a buck, bro. NFL is a corporation. They don't care about you. No, they don't. You've been done. I mean, once once your hands started cramping up in that moment, they already made their choice anyway. Come on, dog. Yeah, the NFL already know they're already protecting themselves. That letter should be coming out, what, sometime this yeah, week? Yeah, we should see an NFL statement around it next yeah. week. Dang, Tua. Hey, did it happen to you? Oh, I was trying to slide Oh, tour, wow, bro. too early. Yes! Uh, I said stuck, no. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> is it stuck? I know. that Lil Wayne isn't performing at the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Wait, why is this a... Baby. b why is this a thing? What do you mean? Why is this stuck and stupid? Um, Kenny. I, I, no, I don't think like, it's sucking stupid for people that are not. Kendrick Lamar got fans. named the Super Bowl performer for this. Yeah, oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah. K yeah. So Kendrick perform. Uh, Kendrick Lamar was chosen as a Super Bowl halftime performer uh, in New Orleans, which is the upcoming Super Bowl. But people, and by people, mostly everyone, <laughs> uh have a sentiment that Lil Wayne should have been chosen because it's happening in New Orleans. Yeah. And Lil Wayne is from New Orleans, and Lil Wayne is a, obviously a, a, a huge artist, uh, all time, rather, huge from, rapper. That, from that state and from that city. So people would like to see that happen at the Super Bowl. So it was not done that way. Kendrick was selected. Do you think it's stuck and stupid for Lil Wayne to not be performing? So my heart says, stuck, 
yes, <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah. Put him up there. I don't care if he's limping across the stage. I just seen freaking um, uh, what's that? What's that band? Come on, bro, help me. Uh, oh my gosh, James Addiction fighting on stage. Okay, yeah. and the crowd was full. Yeah. All right, put Wayne up there if he's crippled. That ain't too bold. We don't even know who they are. You don't know who David Grohl is? You don't know the. No, I mean, I'm just saying it was a joke. Oh, yeah, my yeah. point is they're not, they not Lil Wayne. They're not Kendrick. When it comes to uh, uh, globally on stage, yeah. Stuck no, y'all glazing Lil Wayne. He's a terrible performer. Thank you. It's also rap, but it's the NFL, so Thank rap you. is also hard. Thank you. But Kendrick has proven. Thank you. That his his sets and his performances are incredible. Come it's on. also he is hot as a as a white flame right now. I mean, yeah. it is hot. He is on fire. fire. Number one for a right. long time. Woke up looking so, for the broccoli. Looking for the broccoli, gonna get it. <laughs> so you have to, you have to choose, and and we're gonna stop the narrative right now. To my goat, Jay Z, get off the man back. He don't choose the last performance. Thank he give a short list, please. And then the city please. chooses. Please. So that's the city man, of that's New Orleans. You can make that short list look good, though. Is all I'm saying you could put. You don't think? No. Here's what I'm saying. Maybe Wayne was on that short list. No, I, I think he was. And no, New Orleans chose no, Kendrick. No, I'm, I'm, no, no. I, this is what I think. This is what I think. I think he was on that short list. This is my personal opinion, by the way. I, based off of some other research I've done, personally. I think that short list looked away. Like, you can make a short list, yes. And then you can make a short list. You feel me? Like, you say, oh, I want these people to be there. But then Kendrick Lamar, look at all that, you know. And then if they get the list this way and it look, it's marketed to you this way, of course you're leaning toward a decision that somebody's already did the work to do. Like, you know, they're, they're considered the NFL. Jay-Z is considered the NFL, right? You think the city looked at the NFL and was like, oh, you didn't do enough research, you know. No, they're just like, okay, whatever, bring in the money. So if you bring it to me in a way that presents it like this is who we're kind of choosing versus like these are the even. Man, I would feel that way if it wasn't Wayne in, in New Orleans. Yeah. Like you're the I city really, of New I just, Orleans. I have a hard time I, 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 to I'm believe just, they did that. I just have a hard time to believe. Well, they that they didn't that doctor way. up the, the, the pitch? I think No, I think the NFL did doctor up the pitch. I'm saying I, I have a hard time believing that they had a, a equal pitch across the board and saw Little Wayne's name on there and was like, I'm going with Kendrick. I, 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 I just believe that if you got Lil Wayne and you're taking his top records, mm-hmm. 10, none of them are ready for the, in a, the Super Bowl. They're not ready for the Super Bowl. You, got you can't play for Lollipop Black on History it. Month. Like, well, what are we, we doing? We saw Shakira and J-Lo shake butt for... But it, it, Shaquille and they have anthems. They have world international anthems. First of all, we don't even know what they're saying, but they're, they're anthem songs. <laughs> like, seriously, but they're anthem songs. Like... You I cannot don't. have Wayne up there. He don't. He now nah, he got answers. What was now. Wayne? What would he play? Get money. People. First of all, they're not even saying this. He would have to throw in the features, like little features, like a, we're fine, taking over. That's why, that's why I'm trying to. He tell would you have guys, to do that. This is what I'm trying to say. But we're we're acting like Little Wayne was going to be on that stage for 16 minutes by himself. He would have definitely he can't bring out the hot boys. All the, he no, can't. No, but he's got Khaled records. He's got Rihanna. He's got all these records. But that's not New Orleans. That's what everybody's no, no, like. No, no, it got to no, no, be no, no, no. New Orleans. No, then what the he issue do? is him being on stage, period. It has nothing to do so with... So if Kendrick brought him out, it would be fine. Th- First no, of all, Kendrick's favorite no, rapper from, what, from no, Section 80 days was one. Headlining on the stage is the nah, issue. Nah, bro. You're a, Brent, you're a feature. No, Kendrick's listen, bigger than you. listen. Did Usher do all the songs by himself? No. Okay. Did Rihanna... Hold well, on, LA, LA from, had 30 freaking guests. Right, right. It's not going to be about Wayne bad performance. That's what I'm trying to say. We can't drive that narrative when it's not going to be Wayne. It's going to be Wayne doing a half of a verse and going, yeah, but, but, and then but, here comes somebody but, else. But the artists that he brought out, Usher, those were top feature records. Alicia Keys and all that. What, who does Wayne got like that? Bro, Wayne got records. DJ, okay, DJ Khaled, cool, but can he run on stage? No, he ain't. He ain't got to run on stage. On a, on a, I think, I, I just, I'm thinking to myself, I'm trying to go through his discography. <laughs> And I'm like, what records would be Super Bowl type records? His well, biggest, his even, biggest feature is Jay Z. He would come out to a milli, just because that's what he would do. Give I'm me a feature record. Just, I'm just find a feature record that he got with a big artist. The, the got money, and you know, got, got money. I think you can play. T Pain is still relevant. T Pain, yeah, that's my boy. Please get T Pain. Right? Get T-Pain I'm iffy on a milli because it's just a straight rap record, and he's not talking about nothing. He, he, he. I think he can play lollipop. I think he get no. I think no, you can't. can't. I think NFL is like you can't play lollipop. You can't do that. Okay. So they wanna th- okay. You can't do that. Wee, wee, wee. That's tough. That's it's going up there. White people love I, that. Bro, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. He has several. First off, why are we all on a card of three? <laughs> Thank you. And y'all gonna try to tell me card three? No, no, no. Fire no, man. He, he, he can do no, fire man. No, I'm glad. Thank you for proving my point. 
This is what I'm trying to tell you. Remember, we complained about this already with Wayne, and he commercialized himself with Carter Three. He did that with Carter Three. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Right, no, 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 right, no, no. But then after that, and here's my argument. Okay. I think he commercialized himself with Carter Three, and I don't think he stayed on that train. So you're saying that he didn't make Drake and Nicki. He commercialized Nikki, himself. And he Urban. didn't have records with them. Urban. No, 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 no. Okay, you said he made Drake and Nicki didn't have records with them, right? But the, that's what I'm saying. The no, hear NFL me out. Hear Super me Bowl out. is featured. If, if I could have, yeah. if he made Drake and Nicki, this is even, this is crazy. If he had Drake and he made Drake and Nicki and he had some records with them, mm -hmm. Young Money Records or whatever, I would still rather, based on hits, have Drake or Nicki than Wayne. I would have Nicki before Wayne. So listen, yes. Drake, Drake's I have down twice. Number Drake's one. not coming. I would have Nicki over Drake's Wayne. Drake's turned it down twice, number one. Number two, if Wayne gets on stage, I promise on my soul, take it from my body that now, Drake's Drake, going. And Wayne, Drake and Nicki would have been on that stage that night. I don't think Drake would. Yo, oh my. Oh my no, 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 no. no, right no first of all, did you hear the interview with Wayne? He said he wouldn't want to do nobody on stage anyway. He would want to do it by himself. It doesn't matter. What, no, listen. I'm listen, telling you. Listen, listen what I'm telling you. He Man. can't dictate. Just like J-Lo couldn't fully dictate it, Usher could no one can fully dictate the performance. At the end of the day, it's a congruent effort. And they're going to have feature uh, uh, items because that is what the Super Bowl halftime is. It's never been one person just... The last time we've seen that was what? Uh, per, uh, maybe Prince? Maybe Mike Jack? What is that, 90s? Which, that's his biggest feature artist. It's Nicki and Drake. All I'm saying he, he has no is, choice. He, he can't have, get him. He would have been <laughs> like this. Da, 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 da. Wow. And nobody, yeah, I don't even want to hear him like screaming. Nicki not doing nothing on stage. Drake, nah. right? Trash. It would have been fast, That's bro. trash. Listen, give me, give me the pop out. <laughs> first of all, Drake's first, Drake's first Super Bowl appearance is not going to be a feature. Trust me. He's going to have to headline Man. the whole thing. If Wayne in New Orleans was that's on stage, Drake and Nikki would have been there without question. I'm just in shocked New Drake Orleans. hasn't already been there. Remember, the in, Super Bowl's every year. That's just crazy. To in me. New Orleans. But also, Nikki that's the there. other thing, too, is that I think we're getting caught up on the city thing. It's yeah, they haven't never done thing. it before. Thank you. Also, last time I was in New Orleans, Beyonce was there. Y'all weren't mad about Wayne not doing a thing. No, but hold on, on. But hold on. But hold on. That's a good point. To, but, but to my point, they did it in L.A. Okay, but you remember the clip of, of Jay-Z? This is years ago when he I know first did this. I, I know what you're going to say, but the he clip did it. with Jay Z was like, "We, I don't know about the city. You get into sticky situations with the city things, but yes. that's not to say that if the opportunity arises, it may happen." So I'm not saying no, but I'm saying I'm saying if done once and done properly and done correctly, which LA was a success, would but you I'm not? gonna just say it. But it makes you can, sense. but that's not Do the expectation. Doctor Dre makes sense though. That's all I'm saying. If no. you go to Miami, DJ Khaled year, makes that, sense. That year, didn't he get the award at the Grammys, like the Lifetime Achievement it, yes, Award and everything else? But it makes sense. Bro. Dr. Dre has the artist, has the... It, it's a and, perfect connection. And, and here's the other thing. That was the first Super Bowl at SoFi, right? Mm -hmm. So, of course, well, let's connect it to, back to LA so we can make more money. Bro, and, and to prove your point, if, if, if... New Orleans, they, they always go to New Orleans. If you say the NFL say you have to have other people come on stage... Wayne, Wayne probably say no. Who is Wayne connected to other than Drake and Nicki? And remember, Drake hasn't done that DJ at all. Khaled. Well, all That's all I'm saying. So when you look at I'm gonna have to, Drake, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to after this show, I'm gonna have to send. I'm gonna have to. Tiger, I'm bro. gonna have to send my uh, desire. What set would your list. set list? Yeah, if it, if it was me managing this show, what would the set list look like? Then you got to worry about him smoking out the whole thing. No, no, then he's gonna have saying. little people like Tiger That's out what I'm there. We like, have got to give him a little bit more respect. I know he's not gonna be in there blowing down the Super Bowl man. on stage, bro. He might blow it down backstage just like every other artist ever in the no, history. 100%. Yeah, Snoop of would. Of course they were. Snoop could do it. 100%. I know Snoop was back there blowing it down. I know, you know, Wiz. So that's on stage too. That, and they're in New Orleans. Stop. That, that's nothing. I don't think on stage he would have actually been blowing nothing. I think, yeah, I I think, we're, think so. we're really short leg And you know how I know? You know how I know we're short legging him? You know, Pauls, by the way. You know how I know we were doing that to him? Because of his response. Yeah. He was really hurt by that. I think he running with it. I thought that was, that was so no, calm, bro. bro. That was so calm, bro. Why? So First of all, he's Wayne an ultimate like freestyler. That. He didn't That's know what okay. to say. No, nah, Wayne like, don't be on, like man. that. Y'all don't know. Bro. He be in his own nah, world, bro. That was so cap. Oh my that gosh. Y'all tripping. Also, I still. <clears throat> anyway, Wayne. I get it. I know the thing about how he feel like there's no racism because Dr. Bob said him, you know, Officer Bob or whatever his name. I get it. Uh, also, people are like, oh, Jay Z don't like Wayne, but it's also like there was a situation where Wayne was very down bad. Jay Z helped that, that man out. Or well, what about the video where they were all just at 4040 and they. Wayne, Thank when, you, the, bro. when the song like, came I, on, Jay Z was out there with right next to Wayne. Listen, I come on, man. Yeah. I know, I know, it's not real. G's moving silence like lasagna. There it is. But yeah, all right. Let's hit the last one. Let's hit the last one. We kind of over big yeah, time. I'm sorry. Barely. Sorry, guys. Oh, what time we start? Cowboys play at twelve, so I'm locked in. Uh, uh -huh. 
<laughs> is it stuck as stupid to take photos or fanboy <laughs> over Diddy if you see him on the street? As long as you don't show nobody. <laughs> yeah, they were saying no yeah. Diddy to that man face. I just think it, it depends who you are, bro. It just depends. Hey, that, bro, is, he, is he real anymore? Is he a clone? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I can't believe he's just free out there. I, the way he walks around and doesn't speak is just is just really it's weird crazy. To me. It's crazy. It's really weird. Well, I to think me. he's. I think he's. I think he's actually smart. I might be weird. No, it's, it's genius. It's genius. But I'm saying like, that's if you're caught in public, um, by accident. Like you're out shopping for some somebody catches a crap. You know, this guy is parading. He's be on beaches and at parties and. There's, there's, yeah, there's some. If, I, if I was Diddy was and crazy. I saw a cell phone, my mouth would be closed. Real if talk. I was Diddy, I don't care where that's I'm a good at. point. That's no, a good point. But see, this is what I'm saying to you. If I was Diddy, I wouldn't be seen. No, that's, no, no. Because no, if that's you fair. don't get, I, I agree. There's, there's, well, I'm there's in, part I'm in of Monaco it. For it's seven it's big. There's part of it. There's part of it that I agree with, but there's the other part that I feel like I'm on Brian's side. On the sense of because of the things that he's been accused of, if you go into this uh, uh, protecting your peace, we'll call it that, right? That's what Kendrick did when he was, before he made the <laughs> mid-95 song and uh, Mr. Morale, right? They were asking, where's Kendrick? He said, I'm out protecting my peace. So yeah. if you go into the Monaco and you just never, nobody ever sees you, the narrative that will be painted from you is that you're running and that you're hiding. There it is. If I come out, I'm not running, I'm not hiding, but if I start speaking, then I don't I'm care. Done. But it makes it, to me, it makes it more cynical. I rather you can you're gonna come out. I, when I say go away, I don't mean like you'd never be seen ever. Of course you're gonna pop right. out and go do some typical day to day stuff as a human being. I don't mean that. But to be at parties, to be at beaches, to be at Hey, I, I think we need to go back on episodes because this this contradicts what we really believe. We said he has to get back the only way to get back is social media. No. What if this no, is his but run? that was before that was before bro, he just lost hundred million to somebody. Did like, you see the people? Fan, bro, we 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 ain't looking at the comments. There's a lot of people that are swayed already, man. They already like like we. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sometimes I forget that he did the stuff until I see the actual videos. I'm like, oh man, did, did he just? I mean, he just had a, he just Diddy? he just paid a hundred million dollar lawsuit to the guy that was in prison. That was one of his, you know, like things that he used against. It. So no, like he's losing still, and we are just dumb. Like that's what this is about. Yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna get it uh, now, we agreed to say that his only way back is through social media. Yeah. I still believe that. That doesn't mean that I agree with Facts. who what's going on, the way he's doing it. I don't like this thing. I didn't like the apology. I, I thought I thought it was like I mean, I know you had to do it, but I didn't like it. Like, because if you're gonna come back at all, you have to come back through social media. So you have to do the apology. I didn't like it. Like, I don't like that he's out partying. Like, bro, just you can be seen. And when the camera comes on, be quiet. Sure. But like, you're like forcing yourself to be seen and then be quiet. It's weird to me, bro. It's like, bro, you, you go. I mean, is he forcing himself or is he oh, just really? living his life? So you're Diddy. You're the biggest story in 2024. Right. You're the lar- biggest in the world, probably, and a lot, in, t- in terms of entertainment. I don't mean like the, there's wars that are happening. People are dying for real, for real. So there's, I don't mean like the biggest story ever. I just mean entertainment. He's probably the biggest story of the year. Would you agree? Mm, I say Drake and Kendrick. Yeah, bigger story. Talk, bigger story biggest, than biggest than Diddy beating on people and yeah, okay. yeah. I think it's bigger. All right, argument, beef was the beef ar- but argumentatively, you can see why I would say yes, that'd be one hundred percent. It's a it's a very large story. Very, and it's Diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, understand yeah. what I'm saying? Probably Drake and then Diddy is probably like right there. So the point is, there's not a single person that doesn't know about what's happening with this man, and he has to assume this at this point, right? I mean, the guy's being. And also suited left and right. People are lawsuiting him left and right. So to to say like, oh, well, I'm just I, I didn't know that they, that's nonsense, man. You are going to a crowded beach in Washington, or in a, a, a crowded beach, and then you go to a park in Washington Heights, and then you're uh, at a party, and these are publicly populated places, man. Wait, Which, he said he didn't know people's gonna be there, huh? No, that, that I think that was the argument. Well, it's not that dumb if he if he didn't like. I mean, man, he can't control people being there. No, but you can control people being there. You are Diddy, right? I'm saying <laughs> he just so in his head. If none of this, none of the allegations happen, <clears throat> yeah, would he have still been in those parties? The question is yes. I mean, the, the answer sure. is yes, right? So you're saying so he that he's, he's standing on saying like I don't. None of this stuff is real. Even no, though no, it's no, not no, even I'm about saying, that. He's saying, and here's where the difference is. Mm-hmm. I think he knows I'm gonna continue to live my life. Sure. 100%. But I can't live it the same way as I used to. And where when I saw a camera, I could 
be outlandish. I could speak. I could do all this other stuff. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to go out, but when I see these things, I'm not going to say nothing. 100%. So, in other words, you're just saying he he accepted the damned if you do, damned if you don't. 100%. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing you can... Come on. It's so, he's diddy. like, I need to... I still need to... I'm still Diddy. Yeah. I still got sons. I'm still in the limelight. I still have businesses. If Ego I have those businesses a, to keep up, I'm going to still go through these things and live my life, but I'm not going to give nobody no more ammo. Besides the fact of me just going somewhere. Did, did he stay yeah. on social media for a year, two years? Come on, man. The ego and power. Well, I wouldn't want him to do that. And it, it, trust me, it wouldn't happen. Because he's going to go out in life and people are going to get him on camera. I he think, came back quicker than I thought, though. I ain't going to lie to you. Well, I didn't he know didn't he come back. Like That's what I'm trying to tell no, you. No, no, I'm just saying, being outside like that, like with all the, well, you selling your mansions, but with the property and all the oh, stuff man. he got, I'm just surprised you're seeing. Yeah, I, I mean, I would. I His would have access to not be seen. Listen, you know six I mean? months to a year is what I would have given it. Now, if he would have popped out like this a year from now, the pop out, I would have been like, okay, mate. But in the year is is still like piling up. In the year that it's still piling up, you're hold on. Bro, what if he ain't got the cars and stuff no more though? Nah, <laughs> what bro, if it's all snatched, Don't get it bro. twisted. His cash ain't like, bro. These I, are, I, you know, these are his his cash is not gone. You know, he's no, got it's assets. Not. You just sell assets. You're yeah, good. he just, yeah. just he, he got assets. assets. He, he got a billion right dollar worth of assets. He good. Yeah, I don't think he's cashless. I think he's very good there. I, as a matter of fact, he sold right before all this happened and a lot of stuff. He sold in a lot of stuff. So I'm sure Ooh. he's cash heavy. But I'm not, my bad. Go ahead. No, you're good. My allergies are going stupid right Yours. now. Yours. You hear me this whole episode? I'm the bird going crazy. Jeez, and I've been taking allergy medicine too, but they ain't doing a damn thing, bro. Eagles fans, man. I, need, I might got to switch up a little bit. But then one time, this is a small story, and then uh, I'll take it to the end. Uh, come on, son. No diddy, son. There's this one allergy medicine that works very well, but apparently it dries up like everything in your all of this. So your eyes get dry and everything. No, no, no. My my uh saliva gland right here Ooh. got a stone. I didn't even know you can get stones in them, mm-hmm. and it blocked the gland. So Oof. anytime I w- my mouth will be calling for saliva, pause. My it would just would just get huge. They had to go in and cut it out. It was crazy. And he was like, "Worst come to worst." I didn't know where he, first off he had four glands. He was like, worst comes to worst, we'll just take the gland out, you don't need it. And I was like, what? No. I'm scared here, bro. Bro, I, <laughs> I would literally, I could feel the the stone. I would push the stone forward to get to the gland, and I was trying to push it out, but the uh, the stone was too big, so they had to go in and cut it out. So then after that, I never, I stopped taking the allergy medicine. I switched allergy medicines because it did its job, but it did its job way too well. <laughs> so do, it, do I name drop the allergy medicine? No, nah, I won't do that. Anyway, we usually do shadow work at this moment, but we have... Run uh, 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 along. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap it up. And, uh, there we go. As Jeremy said, there we go. His little bow. I don't know how you do it. Uh, anyway, whether you have been watching the debates and you feel stupid or like, dang, ain't nothing been moving forward, <laughs> uh, or you care too much about what people think, whether this Diddy situation or when it comes to you and your identity, what you really need to do is go ahead and you see this right here. Make you a cup of hot tea. So you can think about it, sip on it, let it fill your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Pray, go to sleep, get your rest because you got to do your body good, be there. And then you got to come wake up and come back next week. You know what I'm saying? Every Let's time. Let's a better episode. And I'm probably going to sound better than this. Special and episode next week. Special episode next week. Oh, you know. You know yeah, we ain't going to tell you uh, no names, but, you know. Special. Can, can, can the Stuckies get a hint? Uh, uh, episode next week? Let's just will we have this. our first guest? We'll have our first guest. There's a hint. We're going to have our There's first guest on go. next week. Okay. Here we go. Shout out. So 50. No more hints, point. or that's it. But they gotta wait. No, we gotta. They gotta, wait. They gotta wait and see. It's our halfway point, guys. We're trying to get to hundred. Maybe episodes. we should. Uh, we should wait at fifty-two. That would have been a whole year. And then that would have been, been tough. Been, yeah. That would have been tough. But uh, wait, episode fifty. First guess. And we gonna see y'all next week. What's up? Then it's stuck. Hey.